What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video. So in the last video we actually published, we finished the entire storyline of the actual like main storyline of Fallout 76. And now I want to dive into some of the side quests and DLC of this game. Starting with the one that we're going to do today, which is the one with the, the pro snap camera. Uh, honestly, I, I don't really remember what it's called. I just remember that... Uh, that it, it pretty much gives you like this camera. Uh, I, I want to say it's called Bucket List, uh, if I remember correctly. But in order to activate this quest, you have to find one of two dead bodies that can spawn in any various tourist locations. If you can see here, I'm actually at the Colonel Kelly Monument, where I have found one of the two. The other one's a female, but this one is Ansel. And he's the one we're going to be doing, though. So, looting his body we essentially activate this quest. So let's go ahead and do that now. Well, here we are, Dorothea. West Virginia. Just like you always wanted. I wish more than anything we were here to see it. Maybe it's better that the leukemia took you uh, when you were still so young. You were spared the horrors of this war. That is heartbreaking. Oh man, okay, so we gotta craft a camera as you can see right there at a Tinker's workbench. So I'm gonna go to this guy's camp and hopefully he has a Tinker's workbench because if not, I just wasted 10 caps. But you know what? It's fine. It's not even a big deal. But it also will do me good if there is because some of the location... What is going... Where did I just spawn? Okay, cool. Uh, Is he up there? Oh no, looks like we have some texture texture issues. Okay, well, it kind of looks like we may have some issues getting to this dude's camp. Maybe. Luckily, since the last video, I actually grinded a little bit. I'm trying to get to level 50. There we go. Alright, so we made it. Hopefully he's got a decontamination shower too man because as you can see on my bottom left I'm highly irradiated um Tinker's workbench where you at bro oh, 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 what what did you call me everyone appears to have died <laughs> Where is it at? I don't think this dude has a, uh, a Tinker's workbench. Alright, here goes the chemistry workbench. So, it doesn't appear like he's... Oh, there it, there it goes. Alright, cool. Craft. Uh, I want to say... No, not this. Okay, let's see. Oh, camera. Duh. It's got its own thing. Alright, we got the camera. Let's go ahead and craft some more film, too. There we go. Oh, I think I'm about to level up, too. Nice. I'm trying to get to level 50 as quickly as possible. Alright, so... To make this easier, let's go ahead and actually equip this right here. All right, we're actually going to fast travel to the pumpkin house. That way we can actually just go hit like one after another, just one by one or one after another. And it'll be pretty quick, you know what I mean? 
these videos, uh, for the most part, are going to be just the DLC. I'm not really going to do gameplay of any of the other things, but... What am I stuck on? Oh, this freaking truck. Alright, let's... This is actually a good spot to chill on. So, we gotta take a picture of the, the actual pumpkin house. So, let's take a picture of that right now. There we go. As you can see, it updated now. That's amazing. So, the pumpkin house is actually a pretty freaking cool location. And just so you guys know, if you guys come over here up these stairs, you can actually get this Halloween costume mask. If you were looking for it, it almost always spawns right there. I've never not had it spawn there unless someone had looted it in the past. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nobody, uh, if that's what you're looking for, it's almost always there. Unless, again, somebody looted it. I don't even remember, like, at the camp that we were just at, I don't even remember specifically looking for a... Decontamination shower. I probably should have, man. Look at my freaking health. Oh, let's go and get my very underleveled black diamond. And oh, I thought he was gonna be invincible. There we go. All right, let's get my camera because I'm supposed to take a picture of this beautiful thing right here. Red rocket. This is actually a pretty good picture right here. I like it. Right there. Did it update? Yes, it did, it looks like. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it did. And the next place, we actually haven't even discovered it. It's... Oh, this, by the way, uh, just so you guys know, is also a workshop. If you go to the far building on the right, I want to say... Uh... There's almost always a... Well, there is a workshop here that you can claim for yourself uh, and of course you know things like super mutants scorched and stuff like that just your regular typical enemies come and spawn here there's also a daily that spawns there uh where you have to go kill some mr handy uh or not mr handy some uh, protectrons of the red rocket variety which is unique i've never i don't think i've ever seen those before in the fallout universe until this game obviously but that's something pretty cool, in my opinion, that Bethesda's doing. They're expanding a little bit on their technology aspect of, you know, in-game characters, I guess you could say. Man, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I've been seeing some uh, Wastelanders information, and I'm pretty excited for it, man. Oh, God. I'm over here breaking stuff now. I'm going to die. No! What I should do is use one of these. Alright. Shut up, robot. No! Die! Sometimes, uh... Feral ghouls spawn here. And a Wendigo occasionally, too. Is that everybody? Yes, it is. Because now I'm healing. Let's drink some water, too, before I end up dehydrating to death all right we're supposed to take a picture of this store right so let's go ahead and take a picture i'm not i don't remember exactly which one is right here yep uh we'll do right i want to take a picture of the entire place right there that looks pretty decent right there bam ah get my weapon and it looks like it actually updated nice where's the next place we're supposed to hit up oh it's actually a place that we haven't even discovered yet so let's head in that direction yeah the good thing about these this DLC is well the the problem with this specific addition to the game wait a minute Oh, that's to kill a Wendigo wearing a clown. No, no, thank you. It scared me. I thought for some reason it deregistered the picture that I just took. Whoa, what the hell? Alrighty then. Uh, am I going the right way? I believe I am. 
Yeah, the problem with uh, this DLC is that if you're actively trying to find this uh, or activate this DLC, you have to find one of the two dead bodies that spawn in any various location. So if you are serious and looking for it, you're probably going to have to be jumping from place to place. And uh, chances are you're not even going to find it, dude. Sometimes I remember the first few times I tried to find it, it took me hours. Let me discover this place. But it, it took me hours to actually find the the, fir the the bodies of the dead people. But it's a pretty sad quest, man. That dude's... Uh, I want to say it was his niece. Uh, ended up passing away while they were on a trip and stuff. And if I understand correctly, like they... He, he just basically wants to fulfill his promise to her. And go, take, uh, go to all the places that were on their bucket list. So that they could take pictures and stuff like that. So... We're basically gonna do that for him. Rest in peace, Ansel. It's pretty. It's pretty sad. Not gonna lie. But it's all good. He's in a definitely far better place than this universe. How far are we? Uh, we're not too far. And eventually, I'm gonna have to come here for the Order of the Tadpole too, which is a quest that I'm gonna be uh, doing here for the channel as well. But I'm probably only going to do the, the missions that require that are actually established, like the repeatable ones. Because the actual like tadpole I guess you could say uh like the badges and stuff, those things they can take freaking forever, dude. And I'm not trying to do that on camera, so I'm probably going to end up doing that off camera, like at least that portion, and then Call it a day at that point, you know? How far are we? Oh, there's a freaking... Uh, oh, wait. What the hell? I'm going the wrong way. It's right over here. Right? Is this one? Yes, it is. All right. There's also... In this place right here, there's also a freaking Yao Guai that always uh, spawns outside of the place where we're supposed to be taking a picture of. So... Depending on what level you come, there's a good chance that you're going to get destroyed by the freaking Yao Guai. Let me discover this since I'm literally right next to it. Watch. I bet you there's a freaking Yao Guai there. Here, let me take another one of these. Oh, dude, I'm running low on stim packs. There he is. I don't like fighting Yao Guais as a melee character because... Long story short, they freaking stagger you, dude. And when they stagger you, dude, they, they're they ruthless. They really beat your ass, man. And go. Did that work? Yes, it did. Amazing! Oh, crap. Now I got to go all the way over here. What's this right here? No, I'm not trying to do that one because I'm busy. So I got three more. Right? One right here. And then two. Yep. Okay, cool. So let's go to the one on the right first. Since that one's the one that is going to be the closest. Oh, that's another thing too. There's a Dolly Sod's uh, workshop here too. And there's also a, an outfit in not this building. The secondary building. There's another building. I can't. Oh, God. Run! <laughs> There's another building too uh, that has the mole. I've, uh, it's like a mole mascot. I can't remember the name of the actual uh, outfit, but it's like this cool little unique outfit that you can get here at Dolly Sods. So just, just something to keep in mind. Am I still going the right way? I want to say I am. Yes, I am. Dude, this is far. But. I don't know uh, what you guys thought of the actual Fallout 76 series. I know about halfway through the series, maybe a little bit more than half, but uh, just for the simplicity of the conversation, I'm just going to say halfway through the series, I took a hiatus from the game. Basically, I did enjoy the game a lot, as a matter of fact, but it was just too buggy and it crashed a lot, and I just... I wanted I wanted to enjoy the game and frankly speaking even though I enjoyed the game 
it was uh it was frustrating at times as well so i just didn't want to deal with it and i wanted to come back and revisit the game when it was much better and i mean as you guys can see during the game through the gameplay and stuff like that yes there's bugs here and there but for the most part they run fine the game runs fine i mean i wanted to dis well yeah no i wanted to discover that freaking airplane but yeah i'm not too worried about it right now it's so dark the Meyer is a cool location. It's just really, really, it's a really dark location. Uh oh. Is that a rat toad? Yeah. yeah. I'm not worried about no damn rat toad. I'll kill him. Die! Goodbye, buddy. Oh, nope. I'm taking the caps. Nice try there, bro. Trying to escape my grasp. Oh, you too? Thanks for the caps. Oh, this is a, a workshop. Oh, what do you want, bro? Ch chill out, man. What's wrong with you? Ah! You scared me. I like that they give you caps, though. I'll take it, gladly. Is this the way? Yep. Oh, I'm almost there. So this one, if I remember correctly, is actually the castle. Which, if you guys were to see the my main character's camp... You guys would probably realize that I do like castles and stuff like that. Because my main character has a castle for a camp. This guy, this is my character that I use for filming purposes. So everything about this character for the most part, most levels and everything, uh, was done here on camera. So you guys saw the vast majority of the stuff that this character has experienced. And I think that's pretty freaking awesome. Alright, let's take a picture of this castle. That's honestly a pretty badass castle. Let me get on top of this truck. There we go. Berkeley Springs Castle. That's amazing. I love that castle, by the way. I don't think I've ever even been inside it. Alright, uh, so now we gotta go all the way down to... Uh, what is this place called? Harper's Ferry, which is another badass freaking place. Harper's Ferry is, frankly speaking, one of my favorite places in this game. Uh, it's got its own vendor. It's got the burrow, so it's a good place to grind. Not to mention, on top of Harper's Ferry, is a pretty good place to grind as well. Let's go! Night, night, homie. Hey, where'd you come from? Ah, oh, good stuff. I'm not going to go around killing everybody because that, that'll just take forever, this video. Got to make sure I'm going the right way still. I'm just going to kill everybody that's literally in my way. That's crazy, though. Oh, the Mothman. Run away. Actually, you know what? I think I can kill him. Die, Mothman. Maybe I could kill him? Oh, God. Where'd he go? He needs to come back. Be nice to me, Mothman. I'm just trying to kill you. Did he disappear again? He did. Did he disappear for good? He did. I'm ashamed to know you, Mothman. I thought we were friends. You were supposed to let me kill you. But you know what? I don't think we can, have, we can have that relationship anymore. So the next time I see you, we're not going to have a nice, friendly, you know, pickup fight. We're, I'm just going to destroy you. Maybe. I'm not that strong. So you know what? No judgment. Leave me alone. All right? Man. It's, I wonder... You know what would be pretty cool? If there was, like, a ton of freaking people, like, uh, NPCs that... Literally roam the streets and stuff. You know what I mean? Kind of like... It'll, like... Not going to a set location... Or whatever. Like the crash space station to go see the Raiders, for example. That would, That's cool and all. But I would love to see, like... NPCs for Wastelanders... Walking up and down, like... Like streets and stuff. Or in between towns and... I don't know. 
I imagine that being pretty amazing if that ever did come to fruition. But who knows? Maybe it will happen one day. Maybe it won't. I suppose we'll never know. Well, I suppose we'll find out when it actually happens, right? So this one, uh, I want to say it's the Harper's Ferry Armory. Which is something that you do uh, for the uh, the Free States. One of the first Free States missions. The Free States is pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. I wonder what I got... Uh, Oh, okay. I wonder what I got XP for on that one. Get out of my face. I thought I killed you. You make me sick, guy. Alright. Uh, oh, it's the courtyard. Okay. The courtyard. So let's hop up here. Can I go up here? Let me see. I want to take a picture. I wonder if this will work. Uh, probably not actually. Let's get on top of this fence. Because I do want a really cool picture for this. Like that. Oh, dude, that's badass. Oh! I'm kind of curious. We got to find out what that looks like. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, that looks pretty dope. I don't like that white streak on the left side, though, but it's cool. All right, let's get our weapon. Now we got to go inside the, uh, the the shopping mall, dude. The thing with the shopping mall, I got to say that uh, there's a lot of Scorch that roam that area, man. So I'm probably going to have to go on a killing spree, which is fine, too, since I'm trying to level up anyways. Wait, what, uh... What, uh... I can't remember which workshop is over here. I don't know. I don't remember. But there's one right over there, apparently, and I don't really remember what it is. Oh, well. Let's go to the... What is it called? I can't remember. It's It's a shopping mall. Man, this character has pretty decent damage resistance and even some rad resistance and stuff, but it's it's exhausting sometimes running around with no AP. Alright, let's see. A Valley Galleria, that's what it's called. No Scorched? Oh, there's one right there. Woo! That guy almost got one-shotted. Anybody else? I hear somebody. There you go. Oh, this guy's gonna get one-shotted. That was neat. That was just disgusting. Well, I mean, it's turning out to be a little bit easier than I expected. So for this one, we have to take a picture of the big light on the roof of the actual shopping mall. So it's not very difficult. This mission is very simple. It's just going from place to place and taking pictures. But the whole concept of it is pretty sweet in my opinion that we're doing the the bucket list of a dying man's, you know, hope for his... I want to say it was his niece. Alright, let's take a picture really quick since nobody's... Oh, God, that scared me. All right, let's... Got him! Oh, snap! Oh, God. It's a three-star, too, so... I wonder what he's gonna give us. Yes! All right, got it. Where are you guys at? Is that all you guys got? I didn't even realize I fulfilled <laughs> a mission. Uh, so that's not so good. I'm definitely going to be selling that in my camp. Is that it? All right, let's go ahead and go into sneak. Well, you know what? 
All right, let's go ahead and fast travel to my camp. By the way, I moved my camp. I put it over here now. Let's see. Let's see if we can teleport before they find us. I don't. I think. I don't think they're gonna find us. Cause I'm slick like that. And just like that, we're out of the freaking place. Yeah, see, as you guys can see, I already completed it. You get two freaking plans to, uh, I guess you could say, mod your camera. Uh, it's pretty cool. I really, really do enjoy the camera. It's very quick and easy to access photo mode. Instead of having to go through your menu and stuff like that. And if you're in combat, if you want to take like the the finale of the of the video that I, that, uh, of the uh, Fallout 76 uh Let's play. I actually took it with the Pro Snap camera on my main character a long time ago, dude. And I liked it a lot, man. You know what I mean? So there's that. It actually works. Here, let's put this for 200. I sell my legendaries for dirt cheap, dude. This one, 150. I sell one stars no matter what it is for 100. Two stars for one fifty and three stars for two hundred dollars. Oh look at another American man. Let's see what he says. <laughs> okay, good. Alright, so when you let's discover this real quick or get this real quick and this real quick. So by completing this quest line, you actually unlock this Pro, Pro Snap Deluxe 105 millimeter lens, and it's actually pretty freaking cool, dude. And, and I got this one off of it too, but I'm not sure if you get this every time. Let's go ahead and craft it if I can. It should be under camera. Uh, Pro Snap lens. Oh, I don't have enough silver, so that's unfortunate. I wanted to be able to show it to you, but all it does is uh, allow you to do like two times zoom, if I if that's correct. But that's pretty much gonna do it for this video, you guys. This mission was very very simple. The the hardest part of this mission is actually finding the body. It's it can be pretty difficult to find, and uh, but once you find it, it's literally just hitting one spot after another. So it's really easy. But you get something really cool out of it, in my opinion. So, thank you guys for watching, you guys. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.